Well, it's hard to believe, but the holidays are already over and it is a brand new year. In the automotive world, January only means one thing, insanity. Everyone is gearing up for the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Doors open to the media in just a few short days. Ahead of the big event though, Lexus has decided to unveil its redesigned 2014 IS Sports Sedan and Auto Guide was invited to a special embargoed sneak peek of the car. The first thing you'll notice about the comprehensively overhauled 2014 model is the front end. Designers have adapted the brand's so-called spindle grille to the compact IS. This hourglass-shaped flourish is found on a variety of other cars in the Lexus lineup, including the GS and the LS flagship. It's become the brand's signature design element, and chances are we're going to see a lot more of it in the future. Other exterior touches include powerfully flared wheel arches that make the car look wider than it really is, and a strong horizontal belt line that runs along the side of the vehicle. F-Sport enhancements will be available across the entire IS lineup. Along with other changes, these models feature a more aggressive version of the spindle grille, as well as a special aerodynamic detail on the front bumper to help keep the brakes cool. 18-inch Y-spoke wheels were supposedly inspired by the ones fitted on the sensational LFA supercar. Inside, the new IS's instrument panel borrows heavily from the GS and the LS flagship sedan. There's a strong horizontal look to the design theme in here. You'll definitely tell they're from the same family. As you'd expect from Lexus, quality abounds, even in this prototype model. No matter where your eye glances or your hand lands, the materials are top shelf. There are other traces of LFA DNA as well. F-Sport versions of the IS have instrument clusters and steering wheels that were inspired by the six-figure performance car, which is not a bad vehicle to steal from. Putting it all in motion, Lexus promises the redesigned IS will really be a driver's car. The chief engineer says dynamics and performance were top priorities when developing it. Auto Guide Editor-in-Chief Colm Wood had an opportunity to test drive a prototype version of the car early last month and he reports the 2014 IS feels smoother and more planted than today's model. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can check out all of his driving impressions at autoguide.com and you can bet we'll have every detail on the 2014 Lexus IS once that pesky embargo lifts on January 15th, so stay tuned for that. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.